Hey everybody, today we're talking with Katie Labrie from Franklin County Development Association. Katie, how are you doing today? Good, thanks Pat. Hey, you are a new face. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> sure, I'm Katie Labrie. I'm originally from Minnesota. I've been a transplant to Iowa for about seven years and absolutely have loved it here. I have a background in economic development. I've done it in both North Dakota and then Parkersburg last. And I have also have a background in web design and graphic design and some marketing. Nice, very nice. And you can uh, always help out... Uh, a lot of people in Hampton as far as website design. But anyway, that's a different topic. But anyway, it's, it's glad to have you here, a fresh face for Franklin County. And, and how long have you been on the job? Four months now. Four months. And now you've met everybody and you've I eaten have. at all the restaurants. I have. I've eaten at the restaurants way too many times. They're delicious. <laughs> Let's talk a, a little bit about a few things that uh, attracted you to Hampton and Franklin County. Uh, what, what were a couple of those things? You know, I have come through Hampton several times. Um, I would say one of the things is just the forward thinking leadership that we have and the robust economy. I mean, where other small towns are kind of struggling, um, the ones in Franklin County are really growing and they're looking at ways to improve who they are, what they're doing, how to attract new people. And so they've been on the ball for years. And so that makes it a really fun job just to step into and help I get to help with that instead of trying to convince people that we need to do something. They're already doing things. Sure. And what uh, what sort of other resources would you have uh, that would help help us out in that area? What uh, um, what skills or what uh, what areas of expertise would you have in that? You know, one of the things that I work really hard to do is to develop contacts throughout the state. So there's a lot of different programs out there that can be of use to small towns. And so that's one of my goals is to start bringing those contacts and those resources right here to Franklin County. And you do have one of those resources we I talked do. about earlier. Let's talk about that. So we applied for something through Future Ready Iowa called the Employer Innovation Fund Grant. And so what that is, is it's a grant that we've kind of created a program basically called Breaking Down Barriers. And with that program, our goal is to break down barriers about what some of the high demand job fields are here in Franklin County. So for instance, manufacturing is a, it's a field where we don't have enough employees right now. And so our goal is to kind of show people what manufacturing is all about and how it's a great career choice. But then beyond that, we are also going to help people get the training that they might need in order to enter manufacturing or healthcare, some of those fields. And so um, we're partnering with NIAC. Burst Buildings is overseeing everything. Luluz Hispana is going to help get the word out. Um, and so we're partnering with those guys. And basically what we're doing is if you need to go back to school and there's certain areas that your financial aid doesn't cover, such as books, child care, maybe um, transportation, then we'll help reimburse you for those costs. Okay. And that was just a recent grant. I just yes. heard it the yep. other day. So, yep. so you've heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that uh, people don't understand about your job is that you, you don't come in with a magic wand. No, no. It's a long process. Um, Kind of what happens is you might get a business that comes and takes a look and they say no or they come and take a look and they don't say anything and you follow up and you follow up and you follow up and sometimes it takes years. I mean, I know I've heard one recent colleague say that they finally recruited a business, but it was four years in the making. And so, you know, there isn't a magic wand right now. We are struggling with low unemployment, which is a good thing, but it's also creates some challenges. So instead of kind of attracting businesses first, we now try to attract people and retain people so that businesses want to come here. And everybody's kind of scrambling for the same few workers. And so that's created some new and interesting challenges. And you are probably one of the county's best secret keepers. Oh, yes. Yes. I, I work hard at that. Um, Yeah. And not just something anyone who comes in and chats with me, if, you know, I, I'll keep your information confidential. I try to balance that with the desire for taxpayers to know what's going on. But, you know, if you say, hey, keep this confidential, I'll definitely do that. And I try to give a little bit of information um, in a very broad sense. So, for instance, maybe someone's come to look at the spec building. I won't say who they were or even what field or industry they're in, but that, yes, we did have someone come take a look. So people know what's going on, but yet, you know, I try to keep it confidential until we can reveal that information. Sure. And we do have one spec building here in Franklin We County. do. So if anyone's looking to buy one, it's a great, it's a great building, great location, great neighbors out there. And, you know, with our access to the interstate, and then we also have high speed internet out there. It's really a, a prime location to do business. Sure. One, uh, one area that causes a little bit of, of a rub is uh, 
your relationship with uh, the chamber and as far as local business like for downtown, that, that's not your key focus, is it? Correct. Um, so the way it kind of works is it's a bit of a loose relationship, but a great relationship with the chamber. So chamber does more retail and I, my organization really looks at industrial, but we work together and I couldn't do what I do without a great chamber. They make living in um, Franklin County and living in Hampton a great place to live and that's what's going to attract the people. So without them, I wouldn't be able to be successful. Okay, it's Katie Labrie, the new Franklin County Development Association Director. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you.